Hey, how we doing? Healing school. Before we start healing school today, I want to pray over you that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, would give unto you and me the spirit of wisdom and revelation knowledge. Lord, give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation knowledge. huh? I'm telling you, the spirit of wisdom will take you a long way. Nobody with the spirit of wisdom dies young. Nobody with the spirit of wisdom stays broke. You cannot stay broke when you have the spirit of wisdom. You can't stay sick when you have the spirit of wisdom. Amen. With wisdom in her right hand, in her right hand is length of days, a long life. In her left hand is riches and honor. I didn't write this. Actually, I don't know that much about the Bible. I'm, I'm the first one to admit there's a lot about the Bible I don't know. But I'll tell you what. What I do know, I believe. The little bit that I know about the Bible, I believe. Amen? Jesus said, heal the sick. Okay, okay. He said, these signs shall follow them that believe. I said, okay. See, the little bit that I know, I believe. And that's why we see the supernatural in our church. That's why people get healed in our church. That's why people get blessed in our church. I just believe what it, the little bit that I know, I believe. Does Jesus always heal? That's our question for today. Well, let me ask you a question. Have you ever known any Christian born again, spirit filled, Bible thumping, faith healing, tongue talking, meet and going, CD listening Christian? Have you ever known one of them to die of sickness or disease? Yes, you do. We all do. We do. We know people like that. We know people who are Christians who have died of sickness and disease. Therefore, you know, see, I base everything on results. And the results are everybody didn't get healed. So we have to say, the, the question is, does Jesus always heal? And the answer has to be no. No. But why? Now, Jesus healed all the people who came to him. He healed all the people who came to him. I got to write something down. He, Jesus healed all the people who came I had to write that down. See, when the Lord gives me something, I, got, I write it down right away. Jesus healed all the people who came to him in his earthly ministry. It tells us several places Jesus healed them all. But the power of God doesn't heal everybody right now. Two reasons. Number one, because in order for God to heal somebody, there has to be faith in the name of Jesus. There has to be faith in the name of Jesus to activate the Holy Spirit, the power of God to heal somebody. And if there is no faith in the name of Jesus on that level, God doesn't heal. Jesus doesn't heal. 
It doesn't matter how sick a person is. It doesn't matter how good a person is. It doesn't matter how wonderful a person is. It doesn't matter how long Aunt Millie taught Sunday school. None of that matters. If somebody does not have faith in the name of Jesus, I'm telling you what, God doesn't, he doesn't move. The power of God is not activated unless somebody has faith in the name of Jesus. That's the difference between this church and almost every other church out there. Faith in the name of Jesus. Everybody who comes to me gets healed. I was taken not long ago to see somebody dying of cancer. Horrible, horrible situation. In such extreme pain, screaming all the time. Just screaming in pain. I told the pain to stop. I told the spirit of death to leave. I told the spirit of infirmity to come out. I said, be healed in Jesus' name. Well, we're sitting there, the person's still screaming. But within five minutes, he says the pain's going away. 10 minutes later, this guy's up walking around. He walks us out the door. He stands outside and talks to us. I knew some of his neighbors. He lost his healing. I'm going to tell you why he lost his healing. Jeremiah 17, 5. Cursed is the man who trusts in man. He put his attention after we left right back on the doctors. Went right back for treatment. Put his attention right back on the doctors. Went right back for treatment. Within a week or so, he was dead. I'm telling you people, Jesus doesn't heal everybody today for two reasons. Number one, somebody needs to have faith in his name. And I'm telling you what, the person who is healed needs to keep their eye on Jesus, keep their heart. Cursed is the man who trusts in man, whose, and whose, flesh, whose arm is their flesh. In other words, who, who cursed is a person who trusts in another person or themselves. I would be cursed if I trusted in myself for healing. I don't. Now I I I, I take stuff and 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 if I need something and and I do what I'm supposed to do, but I don't trust in it. Whose heart is departed from the Lord, it tells us. In, in, in Jeremiah 17, 5, when your heart departs from the Lord and goes to the doctors or anybody else for any reason, God will lift his hand. He is no longer involved and Jesus does not heal those people. Now that's a fact. You come here to be healed. You keep your heart pointed toward God. If you don't, you're not going to survive. But if you do, you'll get healed every time. Every single time. Now, I'm not telling you don't go back to the doctors. <clears throat> I'm not telling you not to let the doctors give you some pills while you're healing. I'm telling you, do not let your heart depart from God. Don't give your heart to the doctor. Don't make the doctor your God. Because if you do, God won't heal you. Now that's the way it works.
Does Jesus heal everybody today? Does Jesus always heal? No. But he will heal everybody who keeps their eye on him. It's like Peter walking on the water. He was able to walk on the water. I'm telling you what, if Peter's able to walk on the water, do you think God can heal somebody? But here's what happened. When Peter saw the circumstances, when he saw what was going on around him, he looked at the wind. He looked at the waves. He looked at the storm. He looked at the rain and he sunk. Because the minute he took his eye off of Jesus, Jesus withdrew the power to hold him up. Jesus didn't make him sink. He just took his blessing away. He just pulled back. I don't ever want God to pull back from me. <clears throat> oh no. I guard that all the time. You keep, I, I tell people this. I wanna, I'm going to walk on the water, but I'm going to keep my eye on Jesus. When you're in the deep water, keep your eye on Jesus. I'm telling you, God will heal you every time if you keep your eye on him. You get somebody with faith in the name of Jesus to speak over you, and you keep your eye on God, I absolutely guarantee you're going to get healed. You got to keep your mouth shut too. Don't let the devil back in there. Amen? We've lost people over the fact they can't keep their mouth shut. But I'm telling you what, people. If you keep your eye on Jesus, he will heal you every time. But you got to have somebody also who has faith in the name of Jesus. Lady said on Facebook, <clears throat> I said, everybody, all pastors are supposed to preach the king, preach the, the kingdom and heal the sick. And she said, my pastor does that. But she's still sick. She's been in these treatment programs. Find somebody, and there are a few around, who have that kind of faith in the name of Jesus to get you healed. My mentor is in Alaska. He does that. There's a guy in Texas that has good success doing that. Guy in New Zealand, I don't know if he's still active. There's a lady in South Africa. They're probably all watching this right now because we, we all know who each other are. Amen. But I'm telling you what, this is one of them. This is a healing station. This is a healing center. This is one of the healing centers in this country. Not many. But when you come here, you had better be ready to keep your eye on Jesus. We'll get you healed, but you got to keep your eye on Jesus. Amen? Hey, go out there today. Go to my website, increasenow.com, if you need healing. I spoke over a woman uh, with stage four cancer in intensive care yesterday. I am always available, and we accept no offerings from sick people. We don't want your money. We just want to get you healed. Amen. Go to increasenow.com. I am always available to pray for sick people. Amen. I'm always available to pray with my partners and for personal advice and, and things like that. But I always make myself available if somebody's sick because I want to get everybody healed. Glory to God, increasenow.com. Hey, make it a great day today. And remember this, God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills.